Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you game one in a series. This is gonna be Remind versus Hawk. Remind spawning as the red night elf player on the bottom left hand side of Secret Valley. Meanwhile, over here on the top right, we have, well, Hawk spawning under the name Look Around. Quick, quick look at the observer board here, but it does take up quite amount, quite a large amount of room on the on the replay. So I will go ahead and hide that here as we are getting into game number one. Night up versus human in this. Well, I don't want to say how many games are in this series, but I will be casting this over a couple of days. So for all of you guys who diligently watch my channel, thank you very much. I do appreciate you guys subscribing and getting the full and latest updates. We will be looking at a demon hunter, most likely going up against an archmage. Archmage versus demon hunter matchup as the archmage does really want to lead a bit of a caster army. As we now take a look at an Ancient of War taking a lot of damage as the Demon Hunter will slowly be making its way over. This 5-3-3 creep count does drop a relatively useful item and also a tome. You're going to take a look at here. Let's take a look at it. Gloves of Haste being dropped down. Demon Hunter now dealing 15% more damage essentially because he attacks 15% faster. Also, let's take a look here. Nola Assassin going to go ahead and get taken down here. And finally, this final Nola Assassin should end up dropping a Tome. It is a Tome of Agility plus one damage. Archmage grabbed a Ring of Protection plus two. Not nearly as great as that Gloves of Haste, but the Archmage does tend to absorb a bit more damage than you would normally like your hero to absorb. Because of that, that Archmage most likely won't sell that Ring of Protection plus two until a little bit later, but we do see the Archmage quickly training up Brilliant Aura after the remaining units clear out this camp. Now, Tome of Intelligence has been left behind, and that Archmage could do a little bit more damage with that plus one attack off of that Tome, Intel Tome of Intelligence there. Demon Hunter now doing a little bit of wandering around here as we are now getting into the mid game. We can see Tree of Ages already being teched here. Meanwhile, Town Hall still training up more and more peasants, which means we are going to be looking at an expansion attempt. Expansion attempts very, very important on a map like Secret Valley. Human players have perhaps one of the easiest ways to win. By being ahead economically, you can train up more units, you can have better items, you can have better upgrades, and all of that together tra can translate into a victory. Let's take a look at this Troll Berserker, Demon Hunter, Archmage gets the kill there, Evasion, and now we see the Shadow Meld picking up the Cloak of Shadows from his opponent, and then no quickly noticing that he could hide. That's exactly what you wanted to see right there as the Ogre Warrior now going to get taken down. There's that Demon Hunter. The remaining units all going to be backing off. There is now a Surround. And this is actually really, really well done. You can see that Remind is wanting to steal that item. But you also saw that Hawk purposely stopped attacking that Ogre Magi. Got that Ogre Magi to chase after a unit. So it moved. And after it moved, it surrounded the Ogre Magi once more. By getting that Ogre Magi surrounded, the Demon Hunter had no easy way of trying to steal that experience. Cloak of Shadows is not the same as Windwalk, as you all know. And because that is the case, it is not the same as Windwalk. The Demon Hunter cannot walk through those units in order to get the steal. All right, low hit point footman there. There is another mana burn footman now trying to run away and hide. You can take a look at this town hall taking a lot of damage. I believe it was not canceled. That is going to be a severe fear loss of... No, it was canceled. Otherwise, he had a thousand gold in the bank as we're now taking a look back over here. Now, I do want to uh, mention something. Someone told me that as buildings are building, they take double damage from everything, not just piercing. Um, I was always under the impression that as a building is being constructed, it has light armor and light. And with that, it takes extra damage from piercing and mortar, but it doesn't take extra damage from hero attacks or normal. Um, go ahead and confirm that for me. I might end up creating a video about it. But yeah, if that is the case, if I have been wrong after all of these years, well, good thing I am human and I am allowed to be wrong. All right, Demon Hunter going to go ahead and teleport away, canceling or stopping that town hall from being constructed once more. Interesting, interesting predicament now. 
as we're taking a look back across over here huntress is making their way over water elemental does deal extra damage to um and to this unarmored unit and it doesn't really tell you that hey it does extra damage to light and unarmored but this is something that you kind of have to just memorize and know all of the details for Demon Hunter still having that Cloak of Shadows. Interesting, interesting choice as the Footman gets the last sword in the back of the Archer. And if I saw someone disappear right in front of me, I would just wave a sword. And I was fighting him, just wave a sword all over that location. Hoping that I actually hit him or her in this particular instance. Demon Hunter now making its way back off to the north here. You can see Ancient of War is ready to try and creep out that three o'clock location as the panda now going to be joining in on the fight panda is a very very strong hero and with that remind most likely wants to put a lot of pressure on this expansion however if the panda does not at least cancel that expansion once more what you're going to end up seeing happen is a transition from hawk from footman into spellbreakers if the spellbreakers do end up getting trained, that panda is nearly worthless against those spellbreakers as Breath of Fire and Drunken Haze is going to be completely, completely useless. Taking a look back down across over here, Fountain of Health getting cleared up, Archmage. Clearing up a red drake right now. That red drake could end up getting taken down relatively quickly. Back across over here, another ring of protection plus two. And that will probably get picked up and sold once more as we're looking also at the Ancient of War tanking this location here. Demon Hunter is sitting at level 2 with Claws of Attack plus 9, so his damage is rather high. But he would really rather have um, level 3 right now for that level 2 mana burn. Archmage picks up a Robe of Magi. That Robe of Magi will give that Archmage significantly, uh, significantly more mana and better mana regeneration. With that extra mana regeneration, that extra damage, and that extra all, extra overall mana, should be able to drop at least one, if not two, extra water elementals throughout the course of the game. And this is perhaps going to be the big issue. We see Dryads and Huntresses making their way over. The Dryads do have enough mana for that all-important Abolish Magic, as the Tree of Life is right now currently trying to entangle this gold mine. Take a look at it back over here. You can, yeah, yeah. The Archmage was not dealing double damage to that building. That it did. It's 29 to 35. It should have quickly, quickly taken it out there. So I've already removed hero damage from that equation there. All right. Meanwhile, back off to the north, entangling gold mine once again. Archmage looking to get away. And it should be able to head back here to the um, 3 o'clock position if need be. You can see that the Arcane Vault is there, ready to do a bit of healing if push comes to shove. Footman now being brought over, and this is going to be an issue for Remind, excuse me, for Hawk once again. He does not want to fall behind in the overall race here, as the Archmage is taking a lot of damage. Dryads are right there. Why is there no Abolish Magic? There goes one Dryad already. There's an Abolish Magic, as the Dryad versus the Water Elemental, and it looks as though the Demon Hunter is still chasing after that Archmage. Archmage is sitting at level 3, very close to level 4, in fact. Meanwhile, back off over here, you can see another canceling of that gold mine. Those footmen were not dealing double damage to that um, gold mine. Otherwise, that gold mine would have dropped much, much faster. As we now look at the panda sitting at level 2, almost at level 3. It may come down to a couple of proper, pr proper placement breath of fires. That Breath of Fire dealing very high AoE damage at level 2. I believe it's 110 across multiple footmen. That level 2 ability can easily deal 5 to 700 damage if it lines up with the right targets. Archmage being forced to use a Scroll of Town Portal. All the footmen now returning back home. No defend on the footmen. That is a bit of a surprise as the Archmage is going to be forced to... Um, buy us at least a scroll of regeneration what is going on not buying the scroll of regeneration so uh we we may actually see hawk um in a bit of trouble here you can see down over here there is the fountain of health and the units are all now looking to back off archmage perhaps gonna buy that scroll of regeneration now yes in fact has used it as the huntress ends up just walking in to give the archmage level two that was a very big deal Brilliant Aura at level 2 now. We are going to see a lot more mana 
coming in from Hawk throughout the rest of this matchup as long as it doesn't get mana burned off by that Demon Hunter. Four towers, only two of them truly operational as the Dryads make their way over to this Arcane Vault. Meanwhile, Mountain King seeing that level 1, Archmage seeing that level 4, going up against a 3 and a 2 perhaps, or a 3 and a 3, yeah, 3 and a 3, so 4-1 versus 3-3, three, three, as the Arcane Tower may end up falling here, Panda, where's that Breath of Fire, there it goes, dealing a lot of damage, as the Water Elemental now being dropped. All right, Water Elemental quickly getting Abolished Magic there. All the units now, once again, repairing once more as the Mountain King may try and engage. Are we going to see a Huntress get taken down? Yes, we are, but we also saw a Water Elemental get taken down there as well. Mortar teams now joining in on the fight. Footmen are now ready to go. Guard Towers are now ready to go. 67 over 72. As the Demon Hunter now regroups with himself to figure out where he, is he going to be pushing next. The Dryads are good at shutting down those Water Elementals. But the problem is they are rather vulnerable to those Footmen. If those Footmen now even more tech defend, that is going to change things much, much more for Hawk. As Hawk now adding Mortar Teams to his units and that splash damage once again going to do a lot of damage across the board. Mana burn onto a Mountain King. 74 mana. Talk about the perfect time to mana burn a hero. Just slightly above their minimum in order to get in, um, get cast that spell. Mountain King now looking to engage here. Looking to back off once more. Rejuvenation onto that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter causing a lot of problems. Rifleman trying to focus fire. Mana burn onto the Priest as the Demon Hunter is still leading the way. No Spirit Link. Just Rejuvenation and slow as the Potion of Lesser Invulnerability now being used. All right, it looks as though some militia were taken down. There they go. Remind, getting mana burned again. It looks as though one or two militia trying to get away. Archmage, Footman, turns back into the fray only to get destroyed as more and more units are now coming across again. Demon Hunter sitting at level 4 still looking after some more units. Panda sitting at level 4 now. Mountain King sitting at level 1. Um... Yeah, how is that even possible? That Mountain King sitting at level 1. As Hawk trains up his third hero. Alright. Demon Hunter looking to get away. It looks as though he will be, in fact, able to get away. Mountain King, however, doesn't have enough mana for a Stormbolt. So that is going to stop things in its tracks before it really gets started. 14 minutes into this game. Panda getting stabbed a preservation home. Most likely will end up using some of that moon well in order to get that breath of fire. And if he's able to finish things off, that would be a very big deal as a tome of strength now being left behind. Alright, Spellbreaker trying to slip away. It looks like it will be able to do exactly that. Mortar teams are still engaging. This one particular demon are now looking to come across over here. There is a scroll of healing. Healing across multiple units. De Mountain King still trying to shut down Remind here as we now see an anti-magic potion being used by Remind. Bears now actively engaging. Militia being called over as well, but the evasion just may be far too much. As Remind now losing a lot of his workers. Alright, this is starting most likely to be the beginning of the end here. This is just not looking good. 48 over 78 compared to 68 over 80. That is a 20 supply difference right now. And that is most likely going to be the game. As Remind able to snowball into a very, very effective, effective, um, effective army here. That's just constantly countering whatever is being done. All right. Huntress is now looking to pull back here. Sorceress now looking to pull back here. Dryads quickly catching the Abolished Magic Mountain King, unable to Stormbolt once again. As the Mountain King lines up into position, perhaps trying to be ready to engage the army. Alright, we see that there is a quick change once again. After putting pressure onto the main base, now finally turning things around and going back after the expansion or after the 
main base after going to the expansion. That's going to be a big deal. Panda needs to be very careful. There is only one unit that needed to actually get a mana burned, and that was this one right there. As it is now trying to get away, the Dryads are getting in a lot of slow poison, and that may actually end up being it. Are the Dryads going to be able to finish off some units? Yes, there you go, and there is the GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game number one in this series. Please stay tuned for game number two.